place would you rather be in right now, Paul? <laughs> you know, right, right, Man City, off at your peril. You know, that, nothing's really changed. Liverpool got to win every game. Paul has changed. It has, they've still got to win every game this season. Prior they've still got to win every prior game. To, prior to Monday, it's, it's, that's a big change. Monday and you, tonight. You know what? They're still one point and they're playing Liverpool at home. You know, Why let's not forget. It's changed. Because they've still got to win every game. If Man, City win, if Man City win every game and draw with Liverpool, they win the league. It's, it's in their hands now. It wasn't in their hands it's before not in Monday. Their ha it was in their hands before Liverpool won every game. If Liverpool won every game, they win the league. Yeah, but uh, same with that Man City. That wasn't the case before Monday. Same with Man City. Man City <laughs> play at home. You know, there's not, <laughs> you know, you're talking about a Man City team that have won 14 so games on the trot so many times over the last three or four years. I mean, you know, but everybody's City celebrating here tonight. Like right, on Monday, if Liverpool have won every game, they don't win the league. Yeah, they do. No, no, the city dropped, city dropped points, didn't they? Yeah, but they were still, they were three points. They would have still, <laughs> they still, they would have still had to win every game. Liverpool would have still had to win every game. You know, you've got to remember, Man City hey. go to Sellers Park, they draw nil nil. They had enough chances to win two football matches. They're not, not looking like they're going to score a goal. They, you, think, you think the celebration is going a little bit too far here? People oh, getting carried they, away. Yeah, of course. It's yeah, I mean, no, it's a big, it's a big celebration because it's a big game. They've come into Arsenal who couldn't be playing any better at any time in the season. So it was a big football match. But you've got to remember, you're chasing down one of the best teams in the world of football still. You're at one point behind. I know they can go top if they beat Watford. But let's not forget, this. I know they drew with uh, Palace. They had enough chances. It's not like they don't look like they're going to score a goal. It's not like they're like, we're sitting there and we're going, oh, they drew nil-nil, but never looked like scoring in a month of Sundays. This team can reel off eight wins on the trot like that. And I mean like that. And they can do it again. I, you know, I'd rather be Man City at the moment, in my opinion. In my opinion. they still got to go to the Etihad. And I know Man City, they are a proper football team. What do you think? If Man City... If Liverpool, <laughs> it's not finished. Sorry. <laughs> if Liverpool turn up at the Etihad in three weeks' time or four weeks' time and play like that they did in the first half, that'll be the end of it. What do you sorry, think? Sorry, Joe. No, no. <laughs> listen, it, it is 50-50, if you like, because, because of the situation with, you know, the game is at, at the Etihad. I just think... The reason I've, I said at the end of the game, this is the first time I've ever felt Liverpool could win the league at any time this season. I've always said City from before a ball was kicked. That Chelsea game 2-2, when Liverpool then, after that game, found themselves 11 points behind Manchester City. And Graham, to be fair, on that day, was the only one in, in, the, in the studio who said Liverpool are still in this race. I, I thought I it was that. well gone. And Man City aren't in bad form, as Paul said, or losing lots of games or dropping lots of points. Because these teams are so good now, just drawing a game. I think they've drew two and lost one against Tottenham. And in all those games, certainly the Tottenham game I was at, the Palace game, well, City didn't play poorly. But that's how good these teams are. We are watching two of the best teams we've ever seen in the Premier League. And a draw is a defeat now. It does feel like that. But I just think Liverpool with... You're looking at me funny. No, carry no. on. <laughs> no, but it, in, a draw now feels like the end of the world because you're just expecting teams to just win. But the reason I say Liverpool is the first time I felt they win, I just feel the signing of Diaz, and not just him as an individual, what it's done to Liverpool. No, what Liverpool brought off the bench is much better than when the year they won the Champions League, the year they won the league. Now they're actually bringing not better players on, but if someone's having a poor game, you know someone's going to come on and improve Liverpool from the bench. That's a massive difference that this team has never had.